Unlocking Past Perfect, a journey from present perfect. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to delve into the intricate world of English grammar and explore how to report advice in English. Specifically, we'll be focusing on a fascinating transformation, the change from present perfect to past perfect when reporting advice. Let's get started. Before we dive into reporting advice, let's refresh our understanding of these two tenses. The present perfect tense is used to talk about actions or situations that started in the past and continue into the present, or actions that happened at an unspecified time before now. On the other hand, the past perfect tense refers to actions or events that were completed before another past action or event. When we give advice in direct speech, we often use modal verbs like should, ought to, or must. For example, you should have studied for the test. Present perfect. Now, let's transform our direct advice into reported advice. When we do this, our present perfect tense often switches to the past perfect. Our previous example becomes, he advised that I should have studied for the test, turns into, he advised that I had needed to study for the test. Past perfect. You see? We've shifted from present perfect, have studied, to past perfect, had needed to study. Let's try some more transformations to make sure we've got it. We'll start with the direct advice, and then convert it into reported advice. 1. Direct. You must have seen the sign. Reported. She said that I had needed to see the sign. 2. Direct. You should have gone to the doctor. Reported. He suggested that I had needed to go to the doctor. Practice these transformations and pay attention to the shift from present perfect to past perfect. That's it for today's lesson on reporting advice in English and how present perfect changes to past perfect. Remember, the key here is practice. The more you practice these tense changes, the more naturally it will come to you. Keep practicing, and you'll master these tense changes in no time. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to our next English grammar adventure together. Keep learning, and see you next time.